Got a brand new spot today. I have a brand new camera today, and we're going to be looking for a Ford that I researched. Now, I don't think it's going to be a major Ford, but you never know. There could be something neat there. So we're going to check it out. I only have a few hours today, and this is pretty close to home. So I thought it would be a good place to test out the new camera, make sure you guys can hear me, and make sure it takes a good picture. Anywho, I was when I was looking in the water here, down in the mud, look at all those little holes. I have no idea what that is. The only thing I've seen like that before was in salt water and there were clams. So let's go in here and poke around a little bit and see if we can figure out what this is. Maybe it's just where the methane's coming up. Well, that could be. Look how bubbly it is. Alright, I'm going to reach in there with my bare hands and see what lurks in those holes. Hopefully it's not a, like a whole bunch of snakes or something. I just kind of feel my way down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, yep. I guess that's just where the methane's coming up out of the uh, mud there. Oh well. Okay, that's where we're going. Look up there. I see swift water. That could be the spot. Let's get to it. I already started looking. Uh, I figured I'd just check out this mud a little bit right along the bank. I usually skip over places like this in the beginning. But I do have a signal here. And it's slightly magnetic, I think. I stuck the pick to it. It's reading in the 70s though, so that doesn't sound like iron. But I can feel something down under here. It feels kind of weird. I don't know what it is. I can find it again. Well, hmm, can't find it again. There it is. Okay, back here a little bit. Don't know what this thing is, but we'll find out together. I like it when you can feel stuff underwater and you like you, you don't know what it is. Um, even though I find a lot of stuff, it's new though because it's very very smooth. All right, here comes a mystery. Ah, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Well, I thought it was new. I was feeling this here. I guess this is enamel wear. I like that, man. I don't know how old it is. But it's older than me, I bet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll definitely keep that. Not worth a penny, I'm sure, but... I don't know, I like it. Alright, let's look around some more. This is a neat little thing that you'll see along rivers and streams. This is a setup for big dip net. Now they don't do this anymore, but back in the old days, well, back even when I was a kid, they used to be around. Uh, people would have these giant nets that they'd put out over in the water. And they had to have it on a big tripod because it lifted up like that and it would be just full of fish. Now, they did that a lot in the spring to catch suckers. And a lot of times what they'd do is they'd set them up right on little branches like this where they come in. And of course they catch bass and sunfish and catfish and all that kind of stuff too. And the law really cracked down on them because they were just destroying the fish populations. But you'll see how they'll, they'll have them hooked up the trees and you can see all the cables and wires and all kinds of stuff. Now this thing could be 50 years old, I don't know. There's another one in that tree right there. If you look up high, you can see one of the supporting beams going across. I think it even, it even has a pulley on it still and some cables. I've seen two or three of these already today. So, yeah, it's just a little piece of trivia I wanted to point out to you guys. Um, you'll probably never see these dit nets in action again, if you haven't already. Still working my way up along the shore here. And I've been getting a lot of uh, fence wire and stuff, but I did get a couple big spikes. This is weird. Look at this thing. Gives me a nice big iron signal, but it looks exactly like a rock. Now, I do find magnetic rocks sometimes. This thing is like super magnetic for a rock. I mean, I have no idea what this thing is. What do you guys think that thing is? Looks like a rock. All right, let's go under and look at it a little bit. Boy, no idea on that thing. You saw where I was pointing with my finger. It looks almost like rust, though. I'm going to go ahead and try to flip it over. See if we can make it out. I have to use my gloved hand, though. Now, 
It looks like rust. Maybe it's a cannon. It's a cannon! Ah, you know what that is? Really lightweight. It reads light on the metal detector. Like 15 or 20. That's the inside of a battery. That's a battery core. You know, uh, it's carbon. I'll save it for the heck of it. They say it makes good electrolysis stuff. I don't know what this thing is. But it's very interesting. I'm going to turn off the camera and go ahead and try to All dig right, it out. I have it uncovered. You, you guys know what that is? I think I do. No, jeez. Yeah, I believe that's a gas tank to a car. I'm not 100% on that. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to leave that because it's not going to fit in my bag. Sorry about that. Um, it'll get washed down. So yeah, it's a gas. There's a uh, little, it's a uh, some type of little thing there. Yeah, that's what it is. Definitely a gas tank. Oh well, at least it's not full of gas. <laughs> I kind of wish it was. It'd be worth some money. wonder what these things are. This is actually the second one I've found. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles coming out of the camera, but I just opened it and it looks dry inside, so hopefully it was nothing. But we'll find out. Alright, let's go see what this thing is. No idea. Ace anchors. Must be something for a tree stand or something. Like I said, this has been the second one I found. Really heavy. Hmm. I'll save it, just for the heck of it. And we all know what this is. That's a death trap. <laughs> this is a con bear trap. People use them to catch muskrats and mink. It probably came from up under the uh, tree right there, up in the roots. But it's sprung and it's old, so I'm not going to keep it. So that is a big old musket ball. Might be fired though, I'm not sure. Could have been dropped though and just run over a few times by a horse or a wagon. Can't really tell. But we'll slow down here and look a little bit closer. Might be some more down in those cracks. Hey, here's another little baby one. Found the big one right about there and I found the baby one right here. So this might be a good spot. This isn't an area where I'd expect to find Civil War stuff, but there could be some colonial stuff in here. It has a flat spot on it, it's kind of interesting. Alright, I'll try to get the next one on film. Well, the hunt for the Ford hasn't been real productive yet, but I did just take this signal. You know what that is? This is an old pewter spoon. This is probably like from the 1700s, or early 1800s. So we might be in a good area right here. I'm going to slow down a little bit and uh, we'll work this over good and see if we can come up with something else interesting. All right, man, hopefully this is it. All right, this is a signal just like those last two musket balls I dug. Well, I have dug some modern sinkers in here, so it's probably, I mean, it could be that. But we'll go ahead and get this one on film for you. Eh, not too bad. All right, can you see it? It's a bullet, but it's a modern bullet. If you look right here where this ring is, you can see the little uh, up and down slashes. That means it's modern. Oh well. I'll try again. You can see something down there. I reckon that's just a piece of pipe though. Alright, let's check it out. Yep, just a piece of pipe. If it was a musket barrel, it would be tapered. You can see that's the same size from one end to the other. Alright, I'm going to put that back where I found it. I have a signal here. It's a little bit mixed, but it's worth digging, I think. And it's different than other ones that I've been hearing. I don't know. Sounds a little shaky, but boy, it sounds really good right there. So we'll dig that up, but first... Look at this neat piece of pottery over here. 
I'm not sure how old that is. It's Ironstone, China. There's England there. It says Powell and something. I'll look it up when I get home just for the heck of it and see how old it is. This has been the coldest summer. It's mid-August. It must be like 72 degrees out here right now. The wind's blowing and I am freezing. I mean, look how my purple my arms are. I'm just dying of the cold. I mean, it's ridiculous. I cannot stand it. Anywho, Back to business. Uh, I have a beautiful signal right here. Listen to that baby. Oh. 75, 71. Beautiful sound. Now, the only problem is I did just dig a bottle top. Uh, my last target, and it sounded pretty good too. But this sounds a little better for some reason. So let's go into water and see if we can figure out what it is. Ready? Hold your breath. Yeah, piece of aluminum, huh? That's about coin size though. It sounded really good. Not quite high enough for silver, but oh well. All right, let's go dark. Getting a bunch of weird uh, signals right here. It's all broken up and whatnot, but look at that. You guys know what those are? That's right. Hey, I got a half a horseshoe. It's the first horseshoe I found today. And a bunch of spark plugs. <laughs> why, oh why, do they throw spark plugs in the water like that? Isn't that weird? People are such idiots. All right, so that's about it for me today. Uh, I've been out here a couple hours. I am absolutely freezing to death. It's mid-October, should be 100 degrees right now, but it's probably 70. Water's cold, air is cold. Um, I hate to give up this early, but, you know, I guess I'm going to have to do that today. I'll save my energy for tomorrow. It's supposed to be warmer. Anywho, this is what I found today, which really isn't much. Uh, I've got some modern sinkers here. This is a musket ball and a smaller musket ball. I did find one little marble. Giant sinker. I guess they wanted it to stay on the bottom in this little creek. That's the pewter spoon, a more modern spoon. Pieces of batteries, of course, you saw those. Anyway, this is a nice little creek. I don't think I actually ever found the ford today because I did not find a single horseshoe except for right here where I'm sitting. And there was never any horses crossing up through here. That was probably used for a fishing weight or something. Um, so I'm going to call it quits for today. And we'll try again later, though. I've got a big hunt coming up. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff and get a good video and you guys will be a little bit more happy with what I'm putting out.